We have a special surprise today. We are doing Halloween preschool activities slash sensory bins. It's gonna be a lot of fun. These projects are all so easy to put together, really inexpensive, and anybody could do them. So let's get our spooky on. Oh yeah. Halloween is coming and I decided to do witch volcanoes. So I used mini cauldrons from Dollar Tree and I just took about a tablespoon of baking soda and put it in each cauldron. I made sure to put the cauldrons on a plate because I knew this would get messy. You're then going to take any kind of food dye. I just figured green would be good because of witch's brew. So you're just going to put a few drops inside of your cauldron or pumpkin or whatever it is that you're using. You really only need like a drop or two because you're it's it's just not that large. And then you're going to take one squirt or one drop of dish soap of any kind in each cauldron. You're then going to pour in some vinegar. I put it in a separate cup because obviously the vinegar and the baking soda is what causes a reaction. So I just poured about a quarter of a cup in each cup for the boys to pour. Go for it, Alex. Well, Cameron already did it. <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead. Do your volcano since Cameron already did it. Slowly pour it in. Whoa! It's time to start setting up the sensory bins, and of course, I don't have enough patience to wait for the pasta to cool down, so I put it piping hot in the bag with about a tablespoon of vinegar, and then I just dropped in some black food coloring. Um, I kind of just winged it. There was no real measurements here. You're kind of going to go by sight. Because it was hot pasta, it's going to absorb really quickly, so I was trying to move fast. I did end up adding some extra black in there. But like I said, you'll see as you're adding, just add to more color if it looks like it needs it. It's not going to hurt the pasta. When you do lay it on your paper towel, all said and done, you're going to want to add a little bit of olive oil just so that that pasta doesn't get sticky. I do advise doing this the night before. Just let it dry overnight so that your kids don't get black coal miner hands like I did. For the second batch of pasta, since this is a Halloween activity, I wanted to make purple and black. I did have the blue, so I added some blue with the vinegar just to hold the color, and then I added red. However, I realized I did not have enough red to completely make purple, so I just added what I had, and we went with it. This pasta was a little bit cooler, so you are going to want to just work with it, massage the bag, try to distribute that color all around since I was lacking that red. I really was trying to work through all the noodles to get as much color distributed as possible to work with it. Just like before, once it is completed, you're going to transfer it to a paper towel lined plate. And as you can see, the color is actually kind of cool. It turned out to be a little bit like multicolored. I set up this bin this morning of, I just got these eyeballs at the dollar store and I got these bats at Target Dollar Spot. I'm just gonna let them explore and close their eyes and see what they feel. Close your eyes and put your hands in there and pick stuff out. What you got? Ooh, slimy worms. You gotta keep it in the bucket. It's like worms. It's actually pasta, but it feels like worms, right?
The next activity is for our jack-o'-lantern rice bin. And this is just uncooked white rice with vinegar and orange food coloring. It's actually called golden yellow, but honestly, I thought it looked pretty orangey. So I kind of went with it so I didn't have to buy anything. I had it in my counter. Anyway, as you can see, make sure you seal the bag so that what happens to me does not happen to you because I did not appropriately seal the bag and I made myself a large mess. Learn from my mistakes, seal the bag. Once it's all done, you're going to transfer it to, again, a paper towel lined plate. Let this sit overnight. It actually dries pretty quickly, but it looks really cute and orangey. Good, Tammy. We're filling up our jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah. Ooh, be careful, Cam. You know what, Cammy? Why don't you put this inside? There you go, like that. Oh, wow. Obviously, this is good for coordination as well. You're also enticing the colors, the sight, the feel, the sound of the rice hitting the bin. Go ahead, keep going. You're gonna pour it in. I want to see really cool jack-o'-lanterns. Alex, you picked the scary jack-o'-lantern. Scary jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, that one's a hard one. Look at how small the opening is on top. You think you can get it in? Yep. All right. Pour slow. Look at you. Excellent. Slowly pouring. Good job. Up, yeah. oh, Ty, do it over. Good job. Ooh, Ty, you're going for the hard ones. Good job. The next setup is for two activities. The clear containers are actually for our jack-o'-lantern rice. I tried to pick containers that had wide openings or little openings so that they could figure out how to appropriately pour the rice in. And the cups are for just a ghost stacking activity. I just threw a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns faces on everything and kind of figured that they can play with it and have fun. But I just wanted to show you in one shot all of my jack-o'-lantern faces for the two activities that we're going to do. Keep in mind, I have three boys that need to do this activity, so I have a lot of clear containers, but you could literally just use whatever clear containers you have, wash it in the dishwasher after you're done, and then draw a face on it. You don't need a whole slew. Next, we have our ghost cups. Alex, take them and then just separate all the cups. Yes. Tai Tai, separate all the cups. Cami, look, all your faces. Now with these, you're gonna build a tower. You're going to take all your cups and you're going to build however you want, like that, okay? You're going to build. Go ahead, build however you want to build. Obviously, I picked super cheap, really easy projects that you could put together really quickly because it's Halloween, there's things going on, the kids are back in school, so I kind of just wanted something that they could engage in and have fun with that was easy. Oh, you did a nice tower. Now you know what you get to do? Yeah. Knock it down! Yeah. Whoa! Okay, now you gotta clean it up. Wear gloves so your hands don't look like mine. I think the boys are gonna have a lot of fun with this next activity. I just took golf tees that I got from Target. I think they were like $3. And I took little, they're called sweet pumpkin pie pumpkins. They were $1.99. And I'm just going to take the golf tees and screw them in. It was actually really easy to get them in the pumpkin. And then the boys are gonna take hammers and they're just gonna hammer away at it. I'm fairly certain that they're going to be really obsessed with this activity because they like to hammer things as if they're fixing things all the time. It was me trying to be uber creative by creating a face which doesn't really look like a face but eyes, nose, and a mouth. They're going to hammer in. Go ahead boys. Go hammer in the pumpkins. Try to get all the pegs hammered in. Yeah, I want the other one. Okay, well we can share. Here. Cam, Cam. Cam, look. Here, take this one, Cam. And you gotta get all the pegs. Gotta yeah. put all the pegs in. I want you to hit the pegs. Ty, Ty, hit the... Go ahead. Keep going. Get them all in. I want them all hammered Get some work done, boys.
was kind enough to send us starry lights. So after they're done hammering it in, we're gonna put these starry lights, which are fairy lights, inside the pumpkin so that they can see what it does. Um, I do have a promo code for this, so I'm gonna link it in the description below and also just write it in here. Oh, but guys, does. these are so bright, they're unbelievable, and they're great for I know, and they're great for any kind of decor. They're just fairy lights, and they're just fantastic. you guys that Vont did send me the starry lights they're 66 feet five watts they're super bright what i did actually i'm gonna keep this in the boys room i put it in a plastic bag so that they didn't get all gross they are incredibly bright of the quality of the copper it's bendable fairy lights they're amazing they sent me two i have a 10 percent off code and i will link it below guys this is so cute and my favorite thing because i'm going to keep this in the boys room is it comes with a little switch light look at that how cute and don't mind the mess of my boys room All right, so the boys are finishing their rice and they're having a lot of fun with it. What was your favorite activity? The volcano. The volcano? Which one was yours, Ty? The volcano. You like the volcano too? Cam, which was your favorite? Volcano. Which one, the rice? The volcano. The volcano? Verdict's out on that one. I think he means the volcano or the rice. Anyway, they're having fun with it. These were really quick activities, guys. Just a fun way to say welcome to the holiday, especially with what's going on. We have no idea if we're even gonna be able to go trick or treating or not, or what's happening in the world. So I wanted to make sure that it was a lot of fun this holiday season, and we have a lot more of these videos coming up for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, and so forth. If you like them, please let me know. If you have ideas, let me know. I made these projects really easy, inexpensive, so easy to put together guys i think this whole video cost me like maybe ten dollars maybe and they are having a blast so a little bit went a long way with this guys thank you so much please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it press that red subscribe button follow us along and we will see you soon bye say bye guys bye. say happy halloween bye.